welcome to Blood City, Chicago by Night Chronicle, this time also featuring Cults of the Blood Gods material, uh, which is uh, still on Kickstarter. You can back that, please. Um, so last time, our coterie uh, newly assembled, and many of them uh, do, as this is episode two of chapter three, um, they've come across some uh, a group of vampires and vampire-adjacent individuals who uh, aren't quite on the level as far as uh, kindred society is concerned. Um, but before we get to the story, uh, let's introduce um, our uh, players today. Uh, let's start with Jolene playing Sparkles. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, character. Good morning, everyone. I'm playing Sparkles. My name is Jolene, and you can come find me on Instagram. My handle is hi.tokyorose. I'm playing Malkavian. This is my friend, George. We're a little bit quirky, and we kind of like to run around and do fun and crazy things. All right. Uh, next is uh, Nigel. Tell us a little bit about Father O'Shea. Well, I'm uh, Nigel. I'm playing... Uh, I, I'm Nubs the Zombie in the chat here, as well as pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, I'm playing uh, Father Michael O'Shea, an Irish Catholic priest who is pretty serious, but uh, generally doesn't take any crap. So, yeah. Andy. Next is Zook. Tell us about yourself and Dr. Joseph Murray. Murray. That's right. My name is Zook. I'm playing Dr. Joseph Murray. Um, he is a doctor from the 50s who was bitten um, and is off to try to make a supreme being through medical and magical means. That sounds fun. And last, but of course not least, Harry, please tell us about Bogdan yourself. Yes, Bogdan Gregorian is a Toreador jeweler uh, who has been very successful in his line of work. Um, and, well, I'm going to keep his ambition a bit of a secret for now. Uh, but I'm all, my name's Harry, by the way, as uh, David introduced me. You can find me on Twitter at Harry underscore Wyckoff or on YouTube now. Uh, my channel is called Salubricat. Tune in for that. Video coming up probably Friday. I'll set the scene. The coterie is now standing in this very disheveled uh, building, uh, uh, turned into a uh, a new goth club. There's alcohol along the wall, a bunch of drinks left on some. Um, uh, simple cheap tables uh, the whole area has been cleared out by the bouncer in fact the fire alarm is still currently going off as the bouncer pulled the fire alarm after receiving a large sum of cash um, and now Leia the uh, leader and owner and proprietor of this establishment also uh, newly um, revealed uh, to be kindred um, and leader of this cult, uh, seems to be very perturbed at the situation and is calling over her uh, ghoul lackeys, who are the few people who did not uh, leave as soon as the fire alarm went off. Um, and while they're not quite menacing, uh, they do seem um, confused as to why you are all here. Because we want to be. You want to be here. Why are you in my establishment? What what is this? This is you turn ask the, to turn the bouncer to turn on the fire alarm. What? Why are you messing with? I mean, it was everyone was having fun. So just to recap real quick for uh, for us, we found out also last time that she doesn't even know who the prince is. So we're also pretty sure she is not following local. I don't know how to word it. Traditions? Yeah. Traditions. Yeah. So... so yeah. All the appearances that you've seen, um, she hasn't used a single bit of standard kindred lingo, or... Um, no. Nope. It seems like they've established their own thing going, going on here. Yeah. Or in her half vampires. Which is not good, because I think our whole point is we are trying to be the people who are upholding that kind of... Because we, well, because of our, our group dynamic, we chose the the Watchmen, right? Yep. Yep. Wonderful. 
I'll ask again, why are you messing with my club? Because I you think... have numbnuts over here that decided to mess with uh, a couple of friends of mine. Numbnuts? Oh. Yes, numb and nut. I see. Yes, I'm a foul-mouthed priest. Deal with it. <laughs> Jake, why... Why did you bring them here? This is just a mess. I mean, we had our thing. You... I told you, you shouldn't come back. Um, yeah, I, I know they they asked me to come to bring you. Um, bring them here. It's, uh, um... Guys, what, what, what did you want? I think we need to arrange a meeting with the prince. Introduce this... These people to him. Familiarize them with the rules. I think that's important. The prince? Is so. this a, uh, a band? W wants to play at my goth club here? Not exactly. I don't think he does. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. What's the... I think that's pretty far from the truth. I don't understand why why you're messing with my business. Like, what's the... What what cause do you have to be here? Are you a new... You know what you are. Yeah. I mean, should we, same we, already know, we already know she's vampire. And she either, either knows we are or can at least assume it. We're not going to break any rules by just being like, look, here's what's going to happen. Like here, the, welcome to Chicago. Here's your here's your pamphlet. Here's uh here's what you need to know. Here's who's maybe, in charge. Maybe we should just bring her in. Well, I think we should too, at the same time. Sorted. We can't just be like, all right, you're coming with us. That's a, that's a little strong arm tactic. We should at least be like, Are you all right, sure? so you, uh, yeah, we can. I'm exactly absolutely be... fine with strong with yeah. strong arming these people. Well, we okay. can't exactly be the Gestapo. That that was uh that was Mr. Smiles and Mr. Smiles isn't with us right now. All right. Okay. Well, as as they talk to them, I'm going to call Damien. Okay. Do do you uh, step aside for that? Yes, I'm gonna go outside. Can someone? get the fire alarm shut off also we probably should go to a quieter area because because he pulled the fire alarm we're gonna have firefighters here and police here well if you pull the alarm and then pull down it'll be just a drill so the well i don't know hopefully we don't have police show up my point is we probably should move to the, out of this area regardless agreed uh i'll have my driver bring around a car uh, again, now we're getting into the kidnapping slash strong army thing. <laughs> we need to explain. Would somebody like to explain who the prince is, what's going on, uh, and why we're taking them to them immediately, and why this is such a big deal? All right, let me try. Uh, the reason we're gonna we need to take you is because there are more people like you, like us. This is yes. There's a lot. You're all angels as well. You are not an angel, but we'll get to that. <laughs> I turn my are... eyes completely black, and I'm like, something like that. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, there are also infinitely more people who <laughs> want to destroy people like us. So we have a system of rules and regulations meant to minimize the chances of that happening. And, and unfortunately, you've come at a very poor time. Yeah. And you've come very close to breaking those rules. Rules? What are you talking about? Who set these rules? Everybody. Since the dawn of time. Everybody? Sorry. Everyone like us. Well, not everyone, but that's a bit complicated. They were established right before the fall of Rome by the Camarilla. The fall of Rome? What's going yeah. on? They've been around for a long time. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Who, who let Jake? You let these nut these uh, nut jobs into our our club? <laughs> I mean, as if I couldn't think any less of you. Oh, that's cheese. Nuts alone. <laughs> By the way, Jordan, hmm. what were you talking to Damien on the phone about? So I was going to tell him what we found. 
and the locate give him the location and also what he would like us to do about the situation. Okay, let's role play that out. Hey, uh, Arkles, what's uh, what's happening? Mr. Damien, me and the new coterie found another unknown vampire establishment. I think maybe perhaps you might want to check that out or have us do something about it. New vampire establishment. What do you mean about that? So I send him the location of where we are. And she calls herself the Dark Angel. She doesn't know who the prince is, and she's breaking all the rules. George and I don't think it's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Ah, as if I didn't have enough on my plate already. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, well, we is already here. What would you like us to do? Just don't go anywhere. Don't let anybody go anywhere. I'll, I'll be... We gotta resolve this. Okay, see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Yeah. He hangs up. Ever since I read the fact that he's physically 14, I can't think of Damien without his voice squeaking. Just the occasional voice crack in the middle of, like, an intimidating speech. <laughs> How does puberty affect vampires? Because puberty is the change of the body, but vampires it, never change. It doesn't. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> And suddenly Shaggy makes a lot more sense. Someone write a book on this. And new on Kickstarter, Vampire Puberty. <laughs> oh, please, no. Please, no. That should not. No products there, please. Right. Bleeding and you, the vampires of puberty. Are you there, Kane? <laughs> oh, lordy. Um, so this... Taller woman with dark hair stands besides uh, Leia. Um, should we get rid of them? They seem to be just messing up here. Like, why are you guys... Listen, Le Leia, her name's Leia, right? Correct. You, uh, you, you understand that if you go to a new city, there's certain laws, regulations, whatever you have to follow. You gotta register your car, you gotta register your house. In this case, you gotta register the fact that you can do magically oobity doobity shit. Does that make sense? But what are you, from the Ministry of Magic? Is this some Harry Potter If you shit? wanna call it that. If it makes it easier for your small, small mind. Oh. Now, don't insult them. You come into my club and you insult me? We, we've been trying balls, to explain man. this to you for like 10 minutes now, and it seems to not be getting through to you. So while we're not trying to insult you at the same time, we are also getting a little frustrated. Now, we understand that this is a hard concept. We appreciate that. It was it was hard for us, too, all the tens, fifty, hundreds of years ago that this happened to us. It's It's different for everybody. And so we just need to let you know. There are certain things that happen. We're not expecting anything from you, except for the fact that you need to make a notice. We're not going to say you got to go pay money to somebody. We're not saying you got to offer sacrifices or something ridiculous. It's more of a, a social, how do you do, nice to meet you introduction for now. Jelly. I'm going to text Bogdan that Damien is on his way and that everyone should stay where they are. All right, I'll just show my phone to my uh, two comrades on either side of me. All right. I'm going to position myself near one of the exits. What exactly is Damien's title? He is the sheriff, and wow. he is the second most powerful Bruja in the city. Wait a minute. The 14-year-old boy is the essentially strong arm for the prince. <laughs> He's a generation six. We don't ask questions. Kids strong. Don't fuck with them. And because I'm new, what is the what is the prince's name? I don't actually know. I'm activating prowess. Okay. I know the prince's name. Uh, prince Jackson. Jackson. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Jackson. If you need the full. Yeah, if you need the full. Name. Not to be mistaken for the wine, Kendall Jackson. Right. Or Michael Jackson's son, who is literally named Prince Jackson. That is incredible. Wow. All right. Just wow. Uh, my wife informed me of that. 
kind of a funny moment. So we've talked to, uh, we've got a hold it of someone. He's one of the higher ups here. He'd like to come in and meet you guys personally. Uh, Oh, and until that happens, no one leaves. Okay, I guess it's a party. Yeah. And once everything's said and done, I don't see any reason why you guys can't go back to uh, whatever this is. I do. It's following the rules. Hmm? So, would any of you care for a drink since we're all staying here anyway? Probably not wise for me. Look at one of his uh, her minions and be like, "Well, if you're offering." I don't think I can. It's all a pass. <laughs> Father, I don't think that's what she means. So, uh, what would you, you look like a bourbon type. Is that whiskey, maybe? Uh, it's been a while since I've had a whiskey. Oh, it's the garden all. I think he wants an Irish car bomb. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Do you have any idea how offensive that is? Yes, that's why I said it. <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm responsible for a lot of them, but come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one Irish car bomb coming up. <laughs> Just <laughs> car drives through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> What's in an Irish car bomb? It's Bailey's and whiskey. Usually an oily rag in a gas tank. <laughs> that's that's okay. <laughs> so I handed a that. shot of Bailey's and uh, a glass of uh, uh, Guinness. For the record, never order one in Ireland. Oh, ever? No. Is, is that where they actually hand you the rag? <laughs> no, that's where they hand you you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Irish car bomb is tied to one of the darkest points in Irish history. Troubles. And, yes. Not quite a joke there. Yeah. yeah. Irish cream, whiskey, and Guinness. That's it. And my character being from there, he, he would take great offense to it. <laughs> <laughs> my condolences. <laughs> oh, jeez. Actually, your character was probably from around that time, wasn't it? Yes, he you're, was. You're like a hundred, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's... He was, uh... He fought the Black and Tens and you know, all that. That's another great drink. So, you were on a boat in Italy when this happened, so... <laughs> well, he still stayed, uh, stayed in touch with uh, home. Uh, one of his touchstones is his great-granddaughter. Uh, came through there, so, yeah. Uh... Sister Hal is actually his relative. Hmm. So Leia stands up. Um, if you will all excuse me, here's the uh, firemen have arrived. Um, Let me deal with this. Someone want to go with her, or I can go. Uh, I'll, I'll. Um, I got it. Okay. Yep. And I uh, go with her. What what kind of uh, people does she have around here? Do they look? Is it how many of them? Is it do they look ghoulish, humanish, vampirish? Well, they don't seem afraid of the situation or all that weirded out by it. Um, okay. They, they do appear um, human. There's no monstrous forms on them or anything like that. Uh, okay. So she's not Samitsi. Yeah. Well. Um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, they, they, they're all pretty young, a uh, diverse crowd, um, multiple ethnic backgrounds, body shapes, like, a, um, it doesn't seem like, um, Leia quite has a, a type uh, to hang around okay. with her in a group. A little and they're all young, you said? Relatively young, um, early 20s, uh, to late teens. Um, did we do any sort of the senses? I know we have like 30 senses between us for detecting vampire, uh, if they're dead or alive, if they're... She doesn't have a pulse, but they, I believe, they're are ghouled. They're ghouled, okay. Yeah. And did we check? And then, well, I guess they're not part of the uh, the true, uh, my ability of her smelling people. I think that didn't bring up anything either. Okay. 
Yeah, there's no, uh, uh, true faith in this room. I'll let you know if you come across someone who smells of true faith. Alright. Yeah, let's just throw that as passive, and we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Um... True faith is incredibly rare, so... There's actually a rule on how to make that a passive. Oh. Mm -hmm. You take your dice pool, divide by two, and that is your passive. You don't even need to roll it. Automatic success. Oh, yep. okay, so it's like taking ten. Make anything passive that way, yep. Yep. Um, Did Damien get here yet? No, Damien was across town. It's taking a little while. Obviously, the fire department, uh, they have a local branch, and um, you're probably standing out there with the fire department. It's going to take him a long time to ride his tricycle over here. So, Leia doesn't say, any, say anything um, too revealing. She's just like, yeah, some prankster pulled the fire alarm. Yeah, we know we're going to have to pay a fine. Thank you. You can take a look around. Sure. I didn't buy it. Yeah, like they should have I'll a, cover the fine. Bouncer. The bouncer should pay the fine. We already gave him money. He's the I, now I'll pay it. it. I got it. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, we'd appreciate that. Thanks. I'm going to cast my action. senses up. Because it's nighttime, I'm going to cast it up and kind of get an aerial view of the area. Just to watch what the uh, people are doing. Okay. It's going to take a rouse check, so... Oh, do we do rouse checks? Oh, I guess it's the same night. We're good. Yeah, same yeah. night. We, um, rousing success. Oh, how's everyone That's doing good. on hunger? I should check that. Yeah, Aren't you, can... you like super hungry? Um, no, I'm out of one. Remember, I uh, drained the security officer. Oh no, Harry. Harry, you're at Harry three. could eat. <laughs> yeah, I could. I'm feeling peckish. Yeah. Um, but I'm not about to munch someone's ghoul in their own territory. That sounds dirty. Yeah, that does. Feel like I should have worded that different. I don't know, Toridor. I mean, that sounds about right. Um... Oh yeah, <laughs> a little bit, especially if you're munching ghouls all over the place. <sighs> Make Stabber Studios asked a good question. What exactly does ghoulish look like? Um. Well. Uh, I mean, does it vary from ghoul to ghoul, person to person? I'm gonna look I it imagine up. Imagine so. I think they look generally human, right? That's what I thought, too. Like, they've still got a heartbeat and all that stuff. Now, with aura perception, you probably could see a little something. Other than that, yeah. probably in... Because it's not like they're the zombie ghouls, it's just... It's like they're Yeah, they're just really people really who have had a taste of, you know. Yeah, uh... In previous editions, they had people, uh... Have an extremely watered-down version of whatever their, uh... Their Domina's, uh... Clan Bane was so like an Osferatu would break out in acne, or a Toriador oh. would get distracted, etc. That's okay. cool. So it might not be a visual thing either. It might be a uh, how they act or how they. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of ghouls do start to take on, um, not strictly by the rules, but uh, uh, you know the behaviors and such. You know, being so bonded to their master. Um, mm -hmm. That the, yeah. Which would explain Renfield, uh, considering that canically uh, Dracula was a uh, Semitzi, so he w went completely like inhuman. Mm -hmm. um, if you play the original Bloodlines, if you if you happen to be Malkavian and you make the ghoul, um, she becomes um, a bit crazy as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she gets tatered. Um. So. Father O'Shea, you um, push your senses up into the shadows, is that right? Yeah. But I still have my normal, like, senses where I'm right. at as well. Of course. Um, yeah. You do not um, see anything too suspicious. The firemen take a little walk around. Um, the perimeter of the area um, uh, seems pretty standard, just people walking away um, because of the incident. Most of them are gone by now. Rubberneckers. Um, yeah, rubberneckers. Um, there any? It wasn't a. It wasn't a very populated part of town anyway, so it's not like there's big crowds or anything. Um. Should we offer the firemen a drink? Yeah. Hey guys, you want <laughs> drinks? Uh, no, we're on we're on duty, but uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, we'll take a rain check on that. <laughs> oh, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, Anything from Chicago's finest. 
Once once Leia's done talking to the firemen and, you know, it's calmed down again, uh, I'd like to talk to her and get a little bit to know about her and her history, if possible. Um, where'd she come from? How long has she been here? How did she, like, whatever information she's willing to do. I don't want to seem like I'm trying to interview her and pry, but at the same time, I'd like to, you know, figure something out about her. Okay. Um, you want to know more about me? Um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, we did. I, I, I would like to admit first. I like to apologize. We did come in here. We thought some stuff was happening, and then it comes to find out it, it wasn't that you were doing bad things. It was just you didn't know. And so, uh, well, well, let me let me know figure. Let me know about you, and we can uh, maybe prevent that from happening in the future. So. Okay, where to begin? I guess. Um, I'm where a, are you from? I'm a Chicago native. I've been here for quite a while. Okay. Um. You said you're a, a, an angel? Oh, they call me that. I, I, I didn't really quite bring that up. Um, uh, they, they, how did this come to be? It was a miracle. I wouldn't mind hearing about it. I love miracles. They happen so often in the medical practice. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let me tell you a little bit. Of um, Whatever you're willing to share, I understand. And, and don't worry. You have uh, patient doctor confidentiality with you. So, I guess this goes all the way back to college. Um, okay. Ooh, I, so far. Like yeah. five years ago college or like 50 years ago college? Because that, that's a big difference. Oh, <laughs> about a year ago. Oh, okay. Okay, so she's, she's new. Yeah, no I, was, I was studying social work. Um, I was on scholarship. Um, I was hoping that would provide me with a sense of purpose. I always wanted to help people. Like, that was always my drive. Um. While she's talking, I'm watching for Damien's arrival as well. And just one night during, like, a graduation party, I drank quite a bit. Uh, I love to party. You know, I own my own club. It's just what I like to do, too. You know, like, it's a good work. revenue stream. Everyone's going to need entertainment. Absolutely, and you know, social work doesn't pay all that much, even though that's my passion still. Um, yeah, that's it's why, boring too. That's why I form my circle. You know, um, so one night I, I went home with this guy, and I can't say I quite remember too much what happened. I I just assume he he was some sort of supernatural creature or something because when i woke up i i was like this and all right i had nowhere to go no, nothing to do but i you know i i'm really i'm really into like science fiction and fantasy and stuff so i i, I figured it out i knew i was a vampire um, what rule did he just break you're not allowed to just make another person without consulting with the prince what rule is that you're absolutely not allowed to do that in fact, he risks execution. Yeah. Have and you so does been... his progeny. Uh, Both right. of them face uh, execution. What's uh? You, did he contact you after this? No, I've I've never seen him again. I can't even recall what he looked like. I was so drunk at the time. Um. Well, frick. But this sounds I'm... like a violation of the third tradition. Traditions. Third. How many traditions are there? Yeah, there's six. Oh, six. Yeah, trust the doctor to be wrong. So, so tell me about that. What, what, what are these traditions? I haven't heard anything about this. Well, normally, you would have to follow the rules of the Camarilla. And the six traditions are to protect us all. One is the masquerade, keeping ourselves hidden from the, uh, the humans. The other one is respecting uh, the domain, especially of the prince of a whole city. In this case, you have uh, tread upon the land of Kevin Jackson. She was already also, like she's the a third in her defense. Thou uh, shalt only sire another with the permission of thine elder. If thou createst another with thine elder's leave, both thou and thy prog progeny shall be slain. So... I was going to sugarcoat that one. Yeah, I wasn't going to bring that up at all, actually, but thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
What's with the way that's worded? That sounds like biblical or something. It is very old. Once, once again, ancient Rome. Yes. Uh, you'd have to ask Critias about that. He was there. Um. Fuck. Well, so. Was he there? I think he was there. Have there been instances in Chicago, out of character, have there been instances in uh, Chicago of this rule being overlooked? It's been forgiven, not necessarily overlooked, but the, a plea has been made to the prince. Right, so, so, so it's not guaranteed she'll die. It's just, this is the punishment that's probably going to happen, but we could probably... Technically, Flyboy is a case where it was forgiven, so... Okay. So, I, because I just I don't, I don't want to get her hopes up and be like, we can totally get around this, don't worry. And then it's like, eh, we're going to kill her. Right. It depends on a lot of factors. Yeah, like what she can offer. We're not saying we're going to eat you, but we've got enough rest. So, yeah, but don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Prince Kevin, or uh, Prince Jackson, probably. Uh, he's he's willing to listen to, to, to your story and give you fair child. It's, you haven't broken any of the other mess well kind of uh we'll cross that bridge when we get there as well uh so so uh tell me about your uh your group here your circle have you been spreading the blessing around if you will well like i said I, my passion was social work i always wanted to help people out and i know that there was root causes to these issues like people um some of them were just too, too poor um, some were addicted to drugs, some just had abusive relationships, that sort of thing. Um, so I found other like-minded people who also wanted to help, and I gave them, I gave them my blessing. I made them all my half-vampire uh, agents that can work during the day. You might want to use the word ghoul. Yeah, just, just for, that's what everyone else calls them. Ghoul? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. cool. They don't, like, eat dead people or anything like that. No, no, no. Uh, this isn't Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, the, yeah, the, that's my point exactly. A, a, a ghoul is some uh, a mortal that has uh, tasted your blood and gained a little bit of your power. Uh, a, a half vampire is a boneless monstrosity. That seems backwards to me. How odd. Well, nobody cares what you think. We didn't write the book. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, all right, we're going to have to, and making ghouls isn't illegal. So. Um, all right, cool. So it looks like the only rule that's being broken right now wasn't actually broken by you. So I don't think it's going to be something you're going to have too much of a hard time convincing and asking for forgiveness. So tell me more looking. about this. Well, first of all, who's this dancing, uh, uh Lolita that you, you brought with you? Oh, she's a uh, Sparkles. Hello, my name is Sparkles, and I curtsy. I love and this your is George. If she offers you candy, don't accept it. No, no, no. What's We're wrong with all... my candy? Anything. The fact that They're half of all me... about it in Pulp Fiction. It makes everybody happy and more productive. Why have you seen Pulp Fiction? Because I'm a movie buff. Hello. Oh, I love movies too. Sparkles, would you like a drink? Yes, please. Um, oh boy! What could I get you? Oh, something fun, maybe like a cosmopolitan. Oh, I can make one of those. Sure. I think it's been established that uh, our angel here has the eat food merit. <laughs> so, she... well, she's also probably super high in the humanity, where it's not even a issue. Oh yeah, true. Well, if she was bitten last year. Well, she would be a uh, possibly an eight then, which means she can consume red wine just fine. She starts mixing the drink. Um, yeah, so my story, uh, we, uh, we've been pretty successful. The neighborhood's been, been helped out. We don't try to advertise too much, of course, but, uh, you know, with this That's new, good. like, Sparkles just mentioned movies, you know, everyone here is a movie buff, and we love, like, uh, the, the superhero movies, and they, they all love the, the powers that they've been bequeathed from my, their Dark Angel. Well, so you got to be careful, though. If you go around with superpowers, spreading around, you're essentially breaking the masquerade, which is going to cause 
life or death consequences for you and your group. So while it's cool to have these abilities, you also need to make sure you're more like Batman and less like Superman. Plus, Batman is better. I, mean, I just meant just that he was a fact. the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything against Henry Cavill or anything, but I'm just saying the character of Batman is better. I mean, I think everyone agrees with that. I think yes. even Henry Cavill agrees with that. Why would you want to be a uh, demigod that can fly and move planets with his pinky when you could be a orphan with issues? Money. I'd rather be a witcher. Yeah? Yeah. Witchers are way cooler. Oh, you guys George are watch Witcher so, too? too? Isn't it a great show? They get coins. So yeah. much fun! Well, you're supposed to give them coins. I'm sorry, I, it's been a while since I've watched TV. Hey, if you don't have you're Netflix, you're missing, missing out on your out. Out. <laughs> Some of the Motioning goals. to the black eyes, like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I got a plan, we'll get him a, some binoculars and I'll put a TV, like, across the street. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot. You break shit. <laughs> some of the you goals start humming uh, Toss a Coin to your Witcher. <laughs> You know, I can always shadow project uh, my senses into a room with uh, technology. So there you go. I'd be across, <laughs> sitting there, all black-eyed, binocular vision to watch stuff. <laughs> Start the marathon. Is Father here? I feel his presence. It must be good. Yes, there's a shadow <laughs> yes, in the back room. So yeah, there's tentacles coming out of the uh, corner there. So he's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. Um. Just then, uh, Damien drives up. I let everybody know uh, the moment he goes into my overhead view. <laughs> Once again, I hope he's not the one driving. <laughs> oh god, that's another problem he would have. Well, not not only is he 14, but you can get off as a 16-year-old. But if he's like 6 million years old, cars weren't around for like 90% of his life. He was turned into... But he's had a lot of time to practice. Uh, well, I guess... Yeah, he's uh, he was born in 1948. He was born in 1962. Mr. Damien, hello. He's a little old then. I thought you said he was one of the. Uh, no, his oh, generation God. is low because his uh, sire is Damien. from ancient Rome. That makes sense. Okay, never mind that. So what's the situation? Here? <laughs> so let me introduce you to the Dark Angel that runs this establishment. Dark Angel. And that's one that I travel with. I think uh, someone should fill Mr. Damien in on her backstory to speed up the process a little. Come on, I'll take out my notebook. I've been taking notes. Okay. We can so go over. We have an orphan here, basically. Yes. But so, it's an orphan who's willing to abide by the rules as soon as she has taught them. that true? He looks directly at Leia. I'm still figuring this all out. They're just telling me about traditions and a prince, and it sounds a little bit Lord of the Rings to me. But she likes Lord of the Rings. So... Yeah. Or at least fantasy sci-fi crap, so... We just gotta make sure we teach her what is fantasy crap and what is our fantasy crap. Just remember that the only time a vampire sparkles in the sun is right before he ignites. <laughs> hmm. uh, as if I don't have enough on my plate with all these hunters and everything else that's going on. Yeah, well, we needed to explain that to her, too, because there were, uh, she actually, what is it, Numb and Nuts here, I don't remember their names. Uh, my name's Jake. Yeah, I don't care what your name is, Jake. Call me um, Diabolic. Fuck, so weird. Um, they, uh, they said can there I, are... Can some... I use Compel to make him never use that name again? <laughs> I don't think Compel lasts for all eternity. <laughs> you may call me Silent. <laughs> um, anyways, this little shit here caused some problems with us. We took care of it, so that's not an issue. But they did mention that they have been coming across um, 
Hunters. Agents, hunters, hunters, agents. They didn't know what they were, and we haven't been able to confirm who they are anyways. At a warehouse, I give them the address of the warehouse. Uh, we stopped we by there. Them. We did see them, but we didn't verify who they were either. Because we did verify that verified. they were the government. Yeah, but we don't know who or what. I mean, they could be FBI, CIA. Anyway, the location is that location is being watched. So yes. that also needs some cleanup. But it also means that we have a way to get a hold of them if we need to. Track them down, hunt them, follow them, whatever. True. Maybe it's DEA looking for all the coke. <laughs> well, we don't know. But the point is, they might have a connection to the hunters, and uh, that might be useful to us. Hey. You guys just said a whole lot just now. Um, all right. That's why we called you. <laughs> it's been a very busy four or five hours. And I'd like permission to eat him, pointing at Diabolic. Oh, hey. <laughs> I mean, my permission. Like, That's a layup permission. What, what do you mean, eat him? Like, do you eat people? Is that what you do? Is that why you're I talking to I do. They're delicious. Here, I'm pretty hungry. Let me demonstrate. What have you been eating, Leia? You've been a vampire for over a year now. I drink a little bit of their blood. I don't eat. Uh, so that's that's what we mean. That's what he means. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Giving him the suck suck. Like this, and I'm going to take right. three dots. I think dots. that's a different crew. Well, well, club entirely. Not three dots, two dots, because I don't want to kill him. Okay. Um, oh, well, at least we won't have to listen to him. He does Very attempt good. to resist, to make a um, brawl roll, a brawl in strength. Okay. Oh boy, two die. Let's do it. I thought you are melee based. I'm throwing knife based. I thought your oh, abilities don't work by throwing my for this. No, no my melee, they do. And my melee skill is four. It's just brawl is hand to hand, not with weapons. So two success. Uh -oh. Well, throwing is athletics, not not melee anyway. Okay, so then I guess I'm just a knife boy. It's just a knife boy. Knifey, knifey, stabby, stabby, or stinky. Yep. Yeah, let him call him knife boy. That was that's a lot funny. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, that works. He's like, okay, hey, what? perfect. No. But then he succumbs to the embrace. Or not the embrace, the uh, kiss. Um, yep. He Mwah. has a nice, um, uh, passionate, uh, sanguine uh, resonance to it, too. Hmm. The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. <laughs> you gotta say some creepy shit every time I eat, dog. <laughs> it's still in my mouth. Come on. Uh, what which, which of my abilities was... Where's my spreadsheet? That's why I have spreadsheets. I had that ability <laughs> that let me drink a drop of blood. And I could do stuff with it. Uh, where is it? The um, taste of Vita or whatever. Oh, that's through the resonance and intensity of a human blood. That won't help here. Um, Diabolic feels a bit woozy, so he decides to go into the club and lie down on a couch. Yeah. Perfect. If he's, been, if he's been drinking tonight, we probably should get him some cookies and stuff. Some apple juice. Oh, cookies. I want cookies. <laughs> what's wrong with my cookies? I don't know what's in them. Oh. Well, you don't, no sugar substitutes. you don't eat food, so you don't get to say that. <laughs> so this is what's going to happen. Uh, this is Damien. Yeah. Since I have so much to do right now, yep. uh, it's going to be on the four of you nope. <laughs> to bring Leah, just Leah, not her circle, make sure they, that, they, that they stay... Uh, uh, here or something like that. Don't let them be running around doing the superhero stuff you're telling me about. Um, mm -hmm. it, make sure Leah comes to the next Elysium uh, this Friday. Okay. 
Um, but just Great. like you're now we're uh, bounty hunters. Yeah. Um, she's gonna be judged then, but if she's not there, one of you takes her place. If you know what I mean. Okay. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Why us? Because we's helping. You are helping, and you'll be rewarded if you do everything correct. Does she have to be in one piece, sanity-wise? Physically. I mean, not in the Camarilla, so do whatever. What day is today? I'll put you on that. <laughs> today is uh, Wednesday. So, two more days. Yeah, we can't have an Elysium every day, so... Uh, although we are calling this one um, because of all the stuff going on. Uh, we need to figure out what we're doing. I do have a place I can store her safely. I do too, but I think it's more comfortable than wherever your place is, Father. I'm offended. Hey, Land, you want to come hang with us for a couple of days? We can prepare you for the meeting so that way you don't say something stupid. Thank also, because it's our necks on the line, you absolutely don't have a choice. Also, we might be doing more fun superhuman hero stuff. Alright, I'm down to learn more about my, my kind, I That's suppose. That's what I was going... We're going to educate you. We're not here to... I'm watching you. Just out of curiosity, uh, pointing towards uh, Dr. Moray. Moray? Uh, Mm -hmm. Are you able to test a blood or anything and find out what clan she's from? Oh, that's a good... Oh, don't I have that ability to find out who your sire is by a, your blood? I do believe you have the ritual. Oh, I think <gasps> that's I important. Jesus Christ, this is so much... Oh, I can actually use my stuff. Holy I call do it. I know where, what everyone does. No, I don't have that one. You don't have that one? <laughs> oh. Which one? Balls. Uh, I think it's called Walk the Blood. It's a level one ritual. How much does it cost in XP? Because I have XP I haven't used. Uh, three. It only costs three XP to learn? Yeah. Oh, well, I have 15 that I haven't spent. Yes! <laughs> what are the rules for uh, learning stuff in the middle of a game? If David and, says yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we can just, you know, retcon it, right, basically. Cool. <laughs> um, so you already have maybe, it. Wait, maybe, maybe let's let her get her affairs started, and then she can come with us in the next hour or so. Well, we don't we don't want to just not watch her for an hour. No, no, I know, but like just oh, okay. let give her some time to close up her shop at least, and then we can go and continue onward and keep moving. Yes. Yeah, we'll give her a few minutes to close up. I'll call my car. Oh, geez, I'm forgetting the name of the driver. Was it Stephen? Was it no? Shane. What's Stephen? Oh, Shane. Yes. I think Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Shane. Shane. I remember because oh, I was Shane. playing Shane. Good Irish name. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Although it would be uh, like one of the one percenters to forget his name and give him a new name every time. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be very fun as well. Bring the car around, Phil. <laughs> that really sound like his name, Sean, Steve. <laughs> I'll call up Shane and I'll tell him to bring the car around. Bring the car around, Ellis. <laughs> All right. Um, the, the, Leia walks over to the tall woman. Um, Razor, I'm going to trust you with the, the bar, make sure Jesus that it's Christ. all taken care Razor. of. Razor. Uh, I'm uh, assuming, <sighs> Leia, you might want to call your uh, circle together, have a meeting with them, and actually go over stuff like don't do anything over the next couple of days, lie low. And for fuck's sake, leave the nuns alone. For, the for nuns? Sure. What, what happened to the nuns? Oh, you mean with the, the dude that's like on the couch. He, the was one I'm about to he eat. harassed a nun. Harassing nuns? Ugh. Not physically. He verbally harassed her so that she broke her leg. <laughs> that's yeah, he, yep. he harried a nun until she broke her hip. Man, I need Diabolic's bad news. 
I think he's going to have to pay for that. Oh, he's going to. I mean, money, money, not other things. (laughs) Please don't kill him. We don't need bodies. This is already enough of a mess. All right, Razor, yeah, make sure Diabolic doesn't go anywhere. Watch him, make sure nobody messes up. I can break his you... legs, that would make it easier. Father, no one's we, breaking isn't there something legs. about in the gospel about being peaceful or something like that? Well, it says thou shalt not kill, but it gets a little vague around kneecaps. Okay, let's go, guys. <laughs> meow, meow. Uh, okay. All right. The car's out front. I'll get in. This way. Oh, I see you've made a new friend. So we have uh, take take me back to uh, to the to my apartment. Okay. So they head over to Bogdan's apartment. Um, the half vampires are trying to lay low, uh, holding up shop um, at the Duff Club. Um, the circle. Uh, so. Who has... Does anybody have Sense the Unseen? It just bogged in, right? Oh no, also I, Sparkles. I, I can see the uh, ghosts, but not any, like, magic or or uh, obfuscated people. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. It's good that you can see ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a graveyard. Yep. It's essential so, to talk to your neighbors. So do I, but it doesn't look like one. So, uh, Bogdan, please describe your apartment. So it's um, it's so it's on top of a skyscraper. It's a penthouse, two floors, with floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking all of Chicago. Very, sort of modern, kind of minimalist in its stylings. There's and probably enough bedrooms for everybody if it were to come down to that. Decent security. A lot of black and white as far as coloration goes. Um, Harry, do you have a silver cup I could borrow? Silver? Yes. I mean, I, I have a silver bowl. Will that suffice? Will it work for the ritual? It says silver cup, but I assume they just mean a silver cup. It would probably work. All right. Um, I like to sit Leia down and do the ritual to uh, and let her know, explain... As a doctor would. I'll uh, just move them. Not on the rug, not on the rug. (laughs) Why do you not have hardwood? A faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. (laughs) Thanks, Father. Took him like a hundred years to get this rich. Eh, Not really. Took me maybe 30. You're not helping your case. So, whoever can see ghosts... (laughs) (laughs) that's me (laughs) Um, you can see a very um, disappointed woman um, just like shaking her head at Bogdan who's that that's uh, that's that's my my ex, I guess you could say. Why is she looking at you so disapprovingly? I would too if I was stuck with him. Shh. Watch it, father. You could say that I had a, an accident. I, I, I frenzied him. Aww. She would you like there. to pray about it? I've done plenty of that, and it hasn't helped much. Hey, but it's a little different when the priest knows where you're coming from. If you ever need confession, you know where to go. I'll keep that in mind. So Dr. Murray's the only one of the four who can't see the ghost, correct? Mildly amusing. Which part of kind of funny. Wait, ghosts? This is, uh, Leia. But she's, uh, there's ghosts too? Yep. Hey, and much more than that. So where is she? You said like this direction over here? She starts to walk. 
mm-hmm. like feeling her arms out. Careful. She doesn't like being touched. Oh, oh, sorry. She's a ghost. She technically. Oh, is that just what she tells you? <laughs> is that what happened with the axe? Is that why? <laughs> why oh, you broke up? Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um. How careless of me. Uh, I can see that very emotional thing for you. Um. So what else out is there out there? Werewolves. Oh, oops. A yep. into a wolf. Uh, not to mention not exactly. the mages and the fae. Yeah. They're bad news, at least the fae. Mages at least can be reasoned with. What about like aliens? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, a lot of phenomenon that was attributed to aliens is generally actually fey. Hey, so fairies. Like little pixies yeah. flying around? Not exactly. Not exactly. Much, much more dangerous. I got a quick question out of character, Harry. Yeah? Your place, uh, how many entrances are there to this place? Uh, it's an apartment, so it's just the elevator going right into it. I right. and, the sta- and stairs for yeah it's the entire floor can All you right. pull up elevators or do they not work uh, I don't know they're pretty mechanical right they're not digital so yeah, I would hope they wouldn't up, break down floor. mechanicals should work yeah yeah uh, That that's a David call there yeah, it's fine. I, mean, I hope so. Broke down and then we all drop <laughs> 40 stories and die instantly. <laughs> I want to let him on the elevator. I mean, I can take the stairs. Damn you, La Sombra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you uh, stop in a week. Uh, uh, yeah, so what I was thinking is I project my senses out into the hall or whatever, watch the entrances. The elevator shaft. Yeah. Okay. So, I gotta Pretty do the routes checks for that. Of night. Um, it is approaching morning time. You are about 3 a.m., so it, there's still some night, so you can have conversations and stuff. It's not like the sun's about to crack. But, uh, well, I would like to do the ritual tonight, if yes, possible. You can. Uh, Sparkles, what? Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, what, did we find out who her sire was? And just for the record, even though the windows are floor to ceiling, there are like blackout metal shutters. We're not getting cooked up here. <laughs> I would hope not. It was I a hope trap. Some planning went into this. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, what's this ritual you want to conduct? I want to find out who bit you. That'll help us with their case with the uh, the prince. We can provide to him exactly who bit you and push onto them that it's their fault that you haven't been taken care of and informed and everything. And if we can come to him with a name, uh, that would definitely help your case. That sounds interesting. So this is like magic? Literally. <laughs> yes, this, this is magic. Oh. Which you might be capable of, uh, which also it'll be able to tell us from this ritual. Do I get an owl? Jesus oh, actually like, you absolutely killer. could <laughs> not Let because of the magic that's a different thing entirely you're giving her the wrong information <laughs> uh, Zook I threw the uh, the ritual yeah, up in that. the chat there so I gotta mix my blood with her blood and I think that's a rouse check yeah one rouse check and uh, it's gonna take an hour for me to uh, do my heebie jeebies I think that's the correct term for it technical term yeah. um and then I have to roll dice, which I think is just int verse IBS. If his is the heebie-jeebies, then mine would be the hooky spookies. Hooky spookies. That seems fair. Yep. Yeah. I like to make a hooky spookies roll. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sparkles roll. <laughs> no, that's just that. <sighs> so, so you have the roll there? Yeah, it's int plus... BS. What does BS stand for? Uh, blood sorcery. Thank you. In this case. I wrote it down as BS, but I didn't write what BS stands for. 
<laughs> what is my BS? Uh, I hate character sheets that I'm not familiar with. Uh, I blood think sorcerer. yours is four, isn't it? Yeah, it's your cold, cold blood sorcerer. So. Oh yeah, four. You pumped that so up. Intelligence. So I, well, they're sorting that out. Can I talk to the ghost? You may. Uh, Zook, it's one of your disciplines, not a not a skill. Did I roll the wrong thing? So I will introduce myself as Sparkles, and this is George. It's nice to meet you. I passed it, because I only had Evan, too. He looks at you with disdain. Why so angry? Oh, I need to make a rash check to He turns and shows just blood pouring out of her neck. Wait, what? Spectral blood. He didn't mean to do that. He's very, very remorseful. She opens her mouth to try to speak, but just more blood just kind of sputters out. I'm happy I can't see this. Is there anything he can do to help you move on? It's something I can do, but I'm not sure they want me to do it. I know what I can do, and I am... Well, at least I think I know what I can do. So One you know. of these days I might. Just open up the windows and let the sun stream in. Do you, do you want her to stay here and the Such you? a happy coterie. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zook, hmm? um, are you going to proceed with the ritual? Yes. So I passed the ritual, but I got hungry from it. Okay. Um, I got three successes. I only needed two. That should be fine. Please describe... The ritual. If you do a willpower reroll, you could possibly get a critical, which gives a lot more information too. Does it? Yeah. Um, social seven. Crit one also informs the user of any blood bound active to the subject. Oh, so I'll find out what who our circle is. As well as uh, a critical win. Uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Might as well. And to do that, I come down to. Do I reroll the whole thing? I don't remember how to do willpower. So I haven't done one yet. Oh, uh, you reroll three of the uh, non hunger dice of your choice. So I just click willpower on the sheet and type in three. Yeah. Cool. Smith. Crit. It says it's crit hit. Does that mean it was. That's is that right? Not, that really no, funny. that is not how you were supposed to do it. <laughs> no, no, uh, you were supposed to put uh, hit the willpower reroll. Oh, that and then bottom. type in three. Yeah. Miss fail. Yeah. So you didn't actually gain any, but yeah. So it's just a normal success. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. So, as far as Sparkle sees the. Uh, ghost, um, he just walks into the bedroom without the doors closed because so I walked right through the door. Um, so, so Zook, uh, did you describe the ritual? Um, I'm gonna take the silver bowl that I'm given and uh, make a. Actually, I probably have doctor's tools. I'm gonna just take out a scalpel, make a nice incision on me to let some of my blood out. Uh, it, it, it's gonna bring out the hunger inside me, but I'm gonna suppress it for the time being as it's only level two. Um, and then I have to do the same to her. I'm going to explain it as a doctor would. I'm going to take some blood from you, mix our blood together, so that way I can figure out about you. Um, yeah, I'm not going to explain too much of the magical side of it. Well, no, she likes magic, so maybe I will go a little bit, like, over-explain it. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, and then over the next hour, do the, the chanting and incantations. It says I'm just repeating an incantation for an hour, which I sounds boring, but I'll go with it. Kalima. Yeah, I know. That's what <laughs> uh. So, despite it taking an hour, um, Leia does seem enthralled with the whole process. He's like kind of into it. 
Um, and she was just patiently watching. Well, I mean, she watches. wants to learn. I got no problem letting her learn. Oh, absolutely. I'd love to learn. Wonderful. Um, so is anybody doing anything in the meantime during this hour, or are we just uh, participating or observing the ritual? I'm keeping watch. Bogdan, do you have anything in your fridge? I have... Oh, there would be actual food there for when dealing with guests, but also blood bags if you need it. Oh, I will have both. On the completion okay. of the ritual, you were given some information. Um, what information uh, do you obtain again? Everything. I'm just a world noun genius. Um, blah, 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 blah. A win on the ritual roll allows the user to learn the generation and name of the subject, as well as the subject's sire. So I'm going to get her name. Her real name, supposing she didn't give it to us. The, um, uh, her sire and then the general spectrum. Okay. Now, when it says you get to know their sire, does that mean you know their name? Or um, maybe their appearance? Uh, it just says their subject sire, so... Interesting. Um, I guess you could interpret that however you want. Yeah. Do we get a vision in the, in the blood smoke? The chant? Yeah, that, that'll be fun. All right, so um, the the way that you're doing it, you're 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 causing the smoke to rise up, and you you'll have this vision that you can see. You see the Leia's not quite her real name. It's Luke. It's Luke. <laughs> this whole time. Her name's Leia Skywalker. Leia Skywalker. <laughs> she looks. She looks to the vision to her right. I'm not going to spoil that. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so her her real name is Lila, but she goes by Leia. That's fine. Or Leah. Her real name's Lila, Lila Hopkins. Hey there, Lila. Um. You know that she is of the thirteenth generation. Uh, do you know her clan? A part of it too. Um. Yeah, he would know the clan. She is clanless. Okay. Hmm? Mm. Um, Which unfortunately does not mean that her sire was Caden. At 13th gen, it can come from anything. And um, this probably won't mean much to you, so I'll just give you both a name and um, uh, maybe a, a, a small description um, about... 5'11", uh, dark short hair, a little bit of scruff, um, wears glasses, um, name is, um, Gregory Johnson. Have you ever heard of him? Anybody? No. Uh, is there a word I can do on that? Um... No, not really. Yeah, I didn't think there would be. What if yeah. we text the name to Damien to see if he knows anybody? I feel like that's exactly what Damien's job would fall under, correct? Tracking down vampires who are doing well, yeah, that middle school. Be interested. <laughs> um. So what what did you find out? Well, we found out who bit you. We found out that as of right now, you don't really specialize in anything. But that's good. That means it's, uh, you got the whole world of possibilities to you. Well, based on her ghouls, uh, she would have to discipline. Uh, I should do this in an accent because it's in character. Based on her ghouls, she would have the uh, disciplines of fortitude and potence by the sound of it. Fortitude and True. potence. But doesn't one of her ghouls have celerity? I only recall one saying he was strong and saying he was tough. Hmm. Yeah, I may have missed hard things. So I'm getting a little on in years. Wait, so you all have different powers? 
So, can you all do magic, or just just uh, the doctor here? Just me. He's the only magician. Yeah, no. I'm a little bit of a necromancer, but. Eh. Oh, you're a necromancer. Will you bring George to life? That's not how necromancy works. Hey, Sparkles doesn't care about that part. I'm like sure he can like figure it out. The plumbing? <laughs> no, but maybe he can. He knows somebody that knows how to, you know, do other kinds of magic. That's something I can make. I can make him dance, but other than that, I'm not sure. I mean, he was never alive, but I can definitely make him dance for you. Here, you want to see some powers? Uh, Leia, go pick up. See the flowers in that uh, vase over there. Sure. Pick up one of them and hold it up in the air. He proceeds to do it. And then I am going to activate unerring aim, and I am going to throw a knife like th like to cut the head of the flower off awesome. super fast if you miss we have a problem <laughs> yeah i'm still putting a hole in my wall either way so i meant her if you hit her if he misses we have entertainment that doesn't need technology so i get to laugh too mm -hmm. this is why they call him <laughs> knife boy <laughs> all right what do i roll here um, so that would be a, probably a dex plus, um, uh, what was it, athletics? Uh, yes. Okay, I probably shouldn't have put so many points into melee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You could just walk up and cut the head of the rose off. Motherfucker! <laughs> Did you crit fail? So what's the your aim do for you? It oh. makes the difficulty of the thing one. Basically, it means that they can't they can't be opposed. Can I spend a willpower to reroll one of those? Yeah, both I mean, of them technically. Good, good. Did we roll the three? Yeah. So. Okay. I, so, I hate to do this, but uh, it sounds like um, what Harry was trying to do with this character build. He meant to put it in athletics, but he put it in melee, not knowing the difference between the two. Trying to be the knife boy. Sure, you can swap. Yeah, it trying out. to be. Okay, I'll swap it out. Yeah, that'll that that will change the role significantly. <laughs> Dex athletics. Da, 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 da. I rule it's still a messy failure, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only one success otherwise. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, Man, weird. these dice hate me. I've got my ass kicked by you a grandma. <laughs> Let's make now it, this. Yeah, that, that's uh, let's make this a bestial failure anyway, just for just for fun. Okay, let's do it. Just for fun. Okay. okay. How many successes were on that last roll? What? How many successes were on that last roll? Single. Uh, single success. Okay, that means, that means One, enough to enough to snip the flower, but oh boy. Want to snip the flower and then fall into Leia's chest. All right. Um. See what happens when you're showing off. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> hey, uh, Jolene, we've uh, your camera's frozen. Oh, oh. Jolene's gone. She'll be back. Hopefully. So what happens? Oh no. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Much better. Damn Much it. better. Okay. So, Leah uh, gets a knife in her arm. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Since you oh, were, fuck. Uh, you were trying to show off. Uh, this gives you a, a compulsion. You know? Oh, so fuck. That was like the point of it. So, so make a compulsion roll a, a d10. Sure guy. thing. Oh, fuck. I'll just do it with Rouse. Oh, fuck. Two. Two. And that is... I highly recommend getting the um, character screen. That's actually very useful. Available on Modifius? Uh, yes. Available on Modifius. Um... The 
compulsion as a two is hunger. So you have a hunger compulsion. Take a minus two until you feed. Oh, balls. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show off, too. I'm going to use the, uh, the shadow tentacles to yank the knife out of her and hand it back to him. Totally intentional. Okay. I'm gonna, the moment that the throwing knife gets handed back to me, I'm just going to rush over to the fridge and messily drain a blood bag. Yep, a little, little bit of stress eating. I mean, I do that nope. after every nope. time I mess up, too. <laughs> Did you just fail, too? Please tell me you just failed, too. <laughs> no. Um... Two crits in a row, we just kill Leah. <laughs> uh, I have four successes. Want to see something cool? <laughs> Slice her throat. And I went. I meant to go uh, pull the knife out, but I crit failed, and it, suddenly we're in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> See, isn't this cool? A game of nothing but. We're in Akihabara, and you have a knife in your arm. Just play it off. Play it off. Be failures. Um, <sighs> Lordy. Okay, so so uh, describe where the knife goes again. The, um... uh, I literally because my shadows have to. Cry surfaces they go from me down along the floor up her grab the knife pull it out and drag it along the floor back over to him uh, e. that's kind of creepy and weird it's just dragging it it's not that impressive actually <laughs> pretty also, wild. you just got blood trail all over his rugs all over I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's entirely my fault. No, no, he could have walked up. Like there is, ah, uh, don't ever come to my offices and do this. <laughs> All right. Um, in the meantime, Leia's like, yeah, okay. She puts the flower back, rubs her hand, her hand over the wound. Um, she feels the wound. I am so sorry about that. That rarely ever happens. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd offer to demonstrate again, but I'm not risking that. Don't worry, yeah, everyone gets a little anxiety. The girlfriend ghost comes back out and is just disapprovingly shaking her head. You could I mean, just left the flower in the vase. You disappointed her so bad she died and had to stay here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you so mean? <laughs> So, are you, do you know what um, what I can do? Uh, sure. Not at all. Show me. Okay. Yeah. I'm inviting disaster. I figured out a couple things about the powers I have. You know, like with all the superhero movies, I figured that was more of a, a that kind of thing. I mean, sure, I'm drinking blood and I stay out of the sun, but um, I don't well, so does Morbius. I always liked the uh, night better anyway. Um, so, I mean, I've been much stronger. Uh, do you have furniture around here, Bogdan? Uh, yeah, there's furniture. The, the style is minimalist, but it's not minimalist to the point of discomfort. Nothing's bolted down, is it? Nothing is bolted down. Oh, well, it's not about to be. Now... Leah's of a um, small stature. Um, frame isn't quite slight, but she is small overall. Um, she walks over to the, like the largest um, couch room. I'm already like preemptively wincing, just running the price tag in my head. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I won't just, stop her. She just lifts it with one hand. It doesn't even look like she's counterbalancing at all. Wow. Hey, I can do that too. It's not a okay. I've noticed. Well, it's I'm not a competition. I'm saying, I know, I know where the powers are going to go. I know where they evolve to. I can teach her. Mm. I've noticed that I'm stronger. He puts it back down gently, as to not try to. Thank you it. for not throwing it. It gives you a, a weird look. Like, why would I throw it? Um, you're welcome. Welcome. Um, and then she, with a um blink of an eye dashes over uh, to um, Sparkles, actually. 
He's like, hey, how's it going? Hey! And I will run to the other side of the room also. Really fast. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I'll also use, I'll activate Blink and do the same. <laughs> His vampires are just running around. <laughs> just zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> just around the apartment. <laughs> yep. So, oh, wow. sounds like, like she has a mentor in both ends. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Wow. But I can also do this. This is one thing that I... This is my favorite, actually. Um, he goes over to the light switch and swaps, turns him off. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not and the we're power. we're only silly. illuminated by the... <laughs> We're only illuminated by the glow of the city. How dramatic. I love it. It's, it's, it's this. Um, you, you hear some... It sounds like the uh, furniture's um, moving around a bit. She turns the lights back on. Um, Zook, you are... Um, I can see in, in the dark. Yeah, you can see in the darkest, too. Uh, what she did, she ran around and, and grabbed all the furniture and uh, made a little fort around Zook. <laughs> And uh, you notice that she, her um, her eyes have changed to animalistic. I can see in the dark. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Hmm. And now we have a not just a pillow fort, a chair and sofa fort. Oh, I like forts. Those are so much fun. Oh, it sounds like she has a bit of gang in her. I'll Looks pull like all this it. back. Thank Those you. Sort of apologetically, uh... It's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Can, like can we just stack up all the couch cushions in this corner? That's fine. I started using my tentacles to do that. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna make an epic fort with expensive furniture cushions. Mm -hmm. I am all for this. Fun with vampire I support it. <laughs> this is like the best slumber party ever! Hell yeah. <laughs> it's the rest of the season. It's just a slumber party. <laughs> Chapter 3, Slumber Party. Okay, slumber party. Uh, party. Uh, anyway, it looks like the sun's going to be coming up soon. Uh, you all getting tired? Is that a normal thing Probably. for us? Probably. If the sun is about to rise, I'm just going to go over to uh, one of the side tables where there's like a remote and just have the metal shutters come down so that there's no risk of burning up. I blink a few times as the shutters cut off my vision down at the entrance. I have to have eye contact to wherever I'm projecting my senses. Hmm. So are we uh, calling it a day? <laughs> Well, did uh, Damien get back to us about uh, Gregory Johnson? Has he heard of anything? Um, uh, he hasn't responded to you. Uh, let's take a short break, and okay. we will be back with the next day. Okay. Okay. Sounds good.
City, a Chicago by Night Chronicle featuring Cults of the Blood Gods material. Uh, we, Blood for the Blood God. Yes. We were just um, in Bogdan's uh, penthouse apartment, um, and the, the Coterie's been waiting out uh, until they go to uh, a museum, which is on Friday, the week of uh, this incident, where they found Leia and Leia's circle. Um, which is a, uh, they, as they found out, a caitiff who doesn't know anything about vampire society and was raised and try to figure it out on our own. So, everybody please make a, uh, rouse roll for this, uh, new day. Yeah, don't get hungry. Holy crap, we all rolled tens. Yes. I didn't. Ugh, I'm already at three hunger. Dr. Murray. He's getting hungry because he performed a ritual as well. You oh, how many days? for me. I'll just roll for the one. Okay. Um, yeah, also has to roll. He's fine as well. So everyone who matters made it. Uh, He's like, uh, uh. <laughs> Got a hungry doctor, and everybody else is fine. Yeah, we definitely need to address that. 
So Elysium is not first thing. Um, it starts around 11 p.m. and the people who show up fashion of the date because the actual discussion doesn't start until midnight. So is there anything else you would like to do this evening for the event? Probably eat. I'm... Hmm. I turn to the doctor, I'm like, would you like me to use some of my powers to help you eat? What exactly do you have in mind? I have Dominate. I can make somebody offer themselves to you. Uh, yeah, I could also just call delivery, get some pizza delivered, and you could have a taste of the Oh, pizza, yes, pizza guy. That's true, too. Um... It might be late enough in the day that we're not going to put somebody out by draining his blood right when he's about to drive through Chicago. Oh, yeah, Friday that's night. probably a good call. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, if we have time, I could always just make it down to my... Uh, oh, maybe we uh, should stop uh, by the hospital to check on the nun. Oh, yeah, that's, actually. That's literally that where way. I was going next. We should do that. Let's head to the hospital on the way. I can find some food there. I got iron gullet, so worst case scenario. Oh, but Pretty much anything I, in there I can eat. I think Bogdan has some some stuff in the fridge, unless he Yeah, there's some blood bags off. in there. Wait, Bogdan was drinking for blood bags, so you have iron gullet too? I do not. Does that... That's required uh, for blood bags? Yes, it is. Yeah, oh, I was just up. thinking for a second that uh, if all of us have iron Awesome. <laughs> I do not, so I'm assuming I am still compelled to eat then. (laughs) Yes, you still still, still under the hunger. Then I am going to give a call for, I don't know, some delivery. We're going to the hospital. Oh, you can't. Well, oh, yeah, we're going to we're going we're going to the hospital. I'll just find someone. Staff members. Okay, we'll do. And the this last is, thing we need is a doctor to or be the clergy trained while Dr. he's in Murray, there. Is this your normal hunting ground anyway, the hospital? It is. If it's my hospital, it is my normal hunt. Okay, that works out. Um, okay, to the hospital. That's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next scene is the I got hospital. Some EKGs to touch. So, who goes where in the hospital <laughs> at this point? Dr. Murray, I think we're where? all going. Yeah. Hospital party. Yep. Where do you hunt? We're going to have to head to the uh, to the meeting afterwards anyway, so I might as well. Okay. Oh, can we show up to Elysium all dressed like surgeons? No, don't touch, don't touch anything, guys. Why not? It'd be so much fun. Because then we don't look like we're with you. Sparkles. Sparkles, my dear. Let's please respect the man's place of work. I am. I'm saying, isn't it a great, you know, is it, isn't it great that we want to be like him and dress like him? Tribute. That's like the highest form of flattery. That is true, but he has requested we don't touch anything. Let's please respect that. Is there anyone who's a particular asshole who I can drink from without feeling bad about? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who doesn't well, deal with patients, janitorial staffs open the game, any of the other friends and family who are here for patients or frail game. Maybe maybe the, the useless volunteers. Volunteers are free game. Uh nobody right, who does medical procedures and nobody who's sick because that'll get you sick. Good. Yeah, call. We're need to create a plague bearer. Yeah, the last thing we need is you drinking someone's blood who's been there for uh chemo. I doubt that would be good. Ooh, glow in the dark vampire. <laughs> so, I'll find a I'll find a useless volunteer and lure them into a janitor's closet using awe, and take a dot. Okay, okay. make a um composure plus either um. Subterfuge or stealth roll uh, to just quietly get him in there real quick. Okay. Not my best roll, but not my worst. Well, remember, all allows you to add your presence. Oh, yes, that is that is worth something. Um, that is plus one die, so. 
Okay, three successes. Yeah, they think won't be able to resist that. Uh, you just pretty decent. Get him in there real quick. Uh, feed to your heart's content. How much do you take? Just a dot. Okay. Get the uh, edge off and heal yourself again. And then I need two dots worth of blood bags. Which shouldn't be hard for me to just go in and check out. Okay, you can just drink the blood bags. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sign them out, fake, fake the paperwork. Um, yeah, they're for lab reasons. Sure, make make a roll for that, though. Do medicine yeah. plus um, intelligence. Sure. So that's your strong suit. Do you have any uh, specialties at them as well? What is my specialty for medicine? Surgery. Uh, whatever. Not okay, really. But... All right, medicine and intelligence. <laughs> One success. One success. Well, it's convincing. It won't uh, hold up to a uh, an audit, but anyone who's not doesn't care. They'll be like, yeah, it's signed out. Um, and so Sparkles is in the... Uh, Locker room stealing masks, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet I see a lot of ghosts. So I'm going to follow the ghost. Okay, we're on a ghost hunt in the hospital. Nice. This is not good. We're supposed to be babysitting her. <laughs> <laughs> Can we assume that over the course of the days we've been in the, the house, all her cocaine is gone? Either <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> confiscated or used up. Oh, no, she still has it. All right. Um, so I think, uh, Leia, um, she's going to be, um, following Sparkles. That seems like the most interesting thing to her right now. Ghost right. in the hospital. The two people we're supposed to be babysitting, we now just let them away. Uh, I haven't stated what I'm doing. Okay. O'Shea, what are you up to? I thought you were visiting the... Uh, I was... <sighs> Waiting until I have my turn to break away, i.e. I let them handle their stuff. Then when they come back, you know, I break away and say, uh, you know, do my prayers with the uh, the nun that's here. Uh, have her name written down here. She is important. She has... It was Mary. Or he was. Uh, Mother Mary O'Malley. <laughs> oh, Father O'Shea. Okay. It is so good to see you. Hey, that it is. So how are you healing? Oh, it's it's getting better. They given me some of the good stuff. Mm. And the Lord's with me, so that's that's the most important part. Hey. How is the 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 congregation? Well, I had to see to some uh, wayward souls recently, but. I think we've set them straight. Oh, I'll, I'll pray for those boys. Uh, we took care of them. Okay. Um. Trying to think of what, what the term for this is. I know what it is in other religions, but, uh. We do. So. Last rites? Eucharist. That's the term. Oh. I offer her Eucharist. Since oh. uh, she hasn't been to church this week. Oh, I thank you, does. Father. And uh, I'm actually going to... Uh, the blood of Christ is actually the blood of an Irish jackass. Uh, I'm going to slip her a little bit of my blood to, uh, because ghouls can heal faster. She seems a bit confused at first, but... Um, well, I do it out of her sight, but... Right. Um, he, he's just gone in the, the list as the Vitae just takes over her, her essence itself. Uh, she feels as if this is a uh, communion with God. No, that's now, my child. Thank you, Father. Father O'Shea. Seeing me through this. It was my pleasure and my duty. 
Then passes out, fades away. Sleeping. So, okay. Not yeah. dead. <laughs> then she dies. No. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Holy crap, I'm moonshine! <laughs> <laughs> says on her paperwork she's allergic to Eucharist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something about glucose or. I well, told you be. not to get in the medical stuff. <laughs> so it looks like Sparkles has been up to some no good. Ah! <laughs> oh, we, are oh under, God. we are underfunded <laughs> as is. We do not need. She's been dispensing medicine. Leah Have is the also wearing a mask. Those are the sterile ones, right? Those weren't taken from the bin. Those no, bin there's no, there's <laughs> no needle. It says, I, Nurse Sparkles, and George. <laughs> Dr. George, Nurse George. Ooh, Dr. George, that sounds amazing. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, at least no one's going to think a doctor walking around in a Lolita dress is actually supposed to give the medicine. So hopefully she does offer it. Yeah, they'll probably think you <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I'm not even going to say it. The doctor said you need to take these six pills. What? Take them. <laughs> They're candy. Hmm. Well, now that how, do, how do people wear glasses and masks? I feel like it's oh. fogging up my glasses. Yeah, that's uh, a constant struggle. Yeah. Or you got to put the glasses on the inside and the mask on the outside. It's always a struggle <laughs> yeah. either way. It, it, that... You need to create a yeah. good seal right here uh -huh. uh, above your cheekbones. Sometimes, if you vent on the side, it can it, like if you breathe it out and really tight up here. Yeah, but it, it, it's always a struggle. Oh, you had it upside down. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> This is why you shouldn't be touching medical equipment. You don't know what it is. You can't even get the mask on, right? Leah comes in also wearing a mask. Sparkles and I were uh, playing doctor. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we need to leave the hospital. Can we go to the meeting? Do you need to confess your sins? <laughs> I don't want to oh, hear having so much fun. <laughs> I want to just leave. Oh god, there's cameras everywhere. Oh, lawsuits are coming. All oh, the cameras can't see me, so it's okay. <laughs> Only if you've activated those powers. Oh yeah, while well, running a muck around the hospital. As opposed to me, who doesn't show up at all. Yeah. <laughs> as opposed to me, who has shown up, shown up as the liable person because I brought you guys in. Hmm. In that case, I should probably uh, not travel through the NICU unit. Oh, did we see any ghosts? We didn't find any. Aww. Doesn't mean they're not there. This is find true. Them. Um, so all of you who have working cell phones all get a text at the same time. Um, just reminding okay. you to, that you, to show up at Elysium tonight. Yeah, we're gonna, that's good. I'd rather will. be early. We're, we are the guests of honor in this case. I'd rather... Yeah, let's let's get going. Mhm. Mm I guess Shane will pull us, will drive us to Elysium then. Um, it is once again at the art museum. Oh, um, cool. It's after hours there, of course. It's all closed off, but there, you get pulled up uh, behind the building. Um. I'm happy we're getting dropped off because parking there is like thirty-five dollars an hour. Oh yeah, it's not fun. You're let in through a service entrance. That way, the public doesn't quite see everybody attending a, an event that's not happening. Um, it's not as populated as a normal Chicago Elysium. Um, it seems like it's only core members. Um, there's not Pretty a lot of the, yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of the social crowd, basically. Um, seems that well, that's because if something goes down, they probably don't want to get called out or uh, attacked or whatever. Seems like they're buckling down. 
Um, you notice that uh, many representatives uh, from uh, Druha, Gangrel, and Tremere are present. Um, there are a couple Malkavians as well. Um, but other than that, you have uh, uh, Prince Jackson and his entourage. You have Damien and his hounds. Um, but I would not call tonight a who's who. It seems more like a war <clears throat> council. I'm not liked by the uh, anybody here. So I'm going to stay off to the side during this entire... For the next scene, I will be off over here. <laughs> if at all possible, I'm going to talk to Damien about possibly becoming one of his hounds. Okay. Um. I'll sh schmooze the prince. I'll, you know, work my Toreador jeweler charms and try and get in his good graces. Uh, how about both of you roll respectively for um, persuasion um, and okay. charisma? I'm gonna browse roll to boost that. Hunger gain! Okay. Four successes for Bogdan. Oh, Bogdan, you're always a treat. Ugh. I'm gonna willpower as, all that. As always, it's a pleasure, uh, Prince. You've been away far too long. You should attend Elysium a bit more commonly. I'm a busy man. Um, it's been a while. How have you been? Busy as well. I'm sure you've heard of all the recent happenings. The first of the Sombra, then the Hunters. Yes, I have. Must be overwhelming. You must be tired. I am. I've also. If you heard... ever need anything, just give me a call or swing by. Oh, You're I welcome would. in my domain anytime. Of course I am. Well, um. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Uh. Oh, and I brought you this, and I'll take out a little pendant that I made, and just pass it over to him. I am touched. Thought you'd like it. So you want to be uh, one of my hounds, huh, Father O'Shea? Is that right? I that I do. Seems a farm hand might be handy, and well, I have one. During these trying times, one could use as many as they can get. Well, I am got to tell you, I am running short. You are correct. Um, why don't we uh, consider you a, a deputy hound in training for them? That sound good. Yeah, it is acceptable. Any trial should uh, involve a journey to prove oneself before God or man. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna assign uh, you to one of my other hounds. Uh, you can shadow her for a bit. Oh, uh, get it? Yeah. Pun was not intended. Um. Just continues to blink because he did not get it. <laughs> Funniest 14 year old joke ever. Again, I'm off to the side. I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> People already don't like me. Hmm. Who would be a good, uh, person for you to shadow? How about, um, Alexis Santos? He's been very uh, capable recently. Look, so why don't you come up here? Um, oh, I can't text you. I was going to text you something. This very stout gentleman here. Um, please uh, show him how to uh, be one of the hounds. Try yes, to move my way up in the camera. We'll be good little doggies. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. and Sparkles, what are you up to? Where are you? I'm talking to the Malkavians. <laughs> That's not you. Um, Time to go down the rabbit hole. So, uh, Alexis Santos was uh, in your group initially, but she walked over when she was waved over by Sheriff Damien. 
Um. Wait, I'm assigned to a Markavia? Yeah, you are. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, this is gonna get entertaining. Oh, hello. Uh, there's only <laughs> one other Malkavian there. Um, I believe I know who you are. You go by Sparkles, is that correct? Yes, we are Sparkles, and I curtsy. And this oh. is George. Pleasure to meet you, Sparkles. Pleasure to meet you, George. I am Bronwyn. <laughs> Is that Mr. Brandon? What do you do? Oh, what don't I do? Um, you know, I like to, uh, uh I'm, I, I gotta say that I, I, I like to keep tabs on the clubs in town, so I, I, uh, usually hang out in the succubus club. Sometimes, uh, red number five seems to be wing it, me. Nights. Um, but, um, that's not why we're here, is it? Uh, it seems like, uh, there's been a lot of troubles recently. I think that it's been very fun. George thinks so, too. Fun. I mean, it certainly has been, uh, profitable. I suppose that's a form of fun. Well, step one, fun. Step two is whatever it is you need it to be. And step three is profit. Ah, Very good. True. True that. Uh, so have you been to um, my club, however, the Blue Velvet? Oh, is that um, the competitor of the Red Velvet Club? Uh, no. Call it a competitor, I'd say they're complimentary. Um, oh, so like Sister Club. Oh, absolutely. All of the uh, Chicago clubs have to uh, stick together if they're going to get past all the uh, uh, legislation, if you, uh, if you will. Um, but, uh, yes. Um, so, do you have any particular tastes? Taste is in, in art, or taste is in food? Yes. Yes, everything. Okay. Sparkles likes everything. Oh, but nice. more particularly, something a little bit more of a gothy style. Well, I suppose that we can do that sometime. Here. So hands you a card. Um, Blue Velvet. Remember it. And, uh, Dr. Joseph, are you, um, just really staying out of the way? Are you, are you hiding from all this? Um, so one of my flaws is, uh, actually both of my flaws are bad because oh. of <laughs> past stuff. Um... What were they again? Uh, I have the Dark Secret because I have the Masquerade Breach. And then I'm a status suspect because of the Masquerade Breach. Okay. So, so how about the, you that was like, a, yep. Even though you're there, not uh, like hiding from sight necessarily, could you make a stealth roll just to be nondescript? Sure. Um, and you can add either composure or dexterity depending on how you're trying to do I'm going to do composure, because that seems more... I'm pretty sure I have nothing. Yep, I have nothing in stealth. Okay. So it's just the composure. Do a composure roll. People know that you're not super nervous about being there. Ah! <laughs> no, that's good. That's a, a bestial success. Only if it's enough to succeed. Oh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> yeah, oh, well, you know, I... it... One success, people aren't looking for you in particular, um, so it's just a normal success, because it wasn't the hunger. I mean, yeah, okay. But it's a one on the hunger roll. But a success. You're good. You're good. Okay. Um, you're super nervous, but you're not, you're not compulsed. You're, you're yep. just... 
I see, I see corner, that there are less people here cares. than normal, which means it's less people for me to hide behind. Yes. So it's 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 a very nervous time for me. Prince Jackson steps forward. So enough with the normal routine. Let's get straight to business. Um, first issue on the docket. Little Sombra. They. It's not all of them, but some of you need to keep the others of you who are not following our rules in check. Remember that if you um, um, hide or, or shelter any La Sombra who haven't pledged their fealty to the Camarilla, that makes you just as guilty. Uh, we are still on the hunt for Tally. Um, if you have any information, please inform Sheriff Damien at war. Should we not just put the sinner to the flame right away? If you can, um, there is a bounty on his head currently. It will be granted a boon. You take Ooh. him out. I'm gonna look for Tally in my free time. <laughs> um, but in the meantime... Hey there, Doc, I'll be, uh, wider up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, any information about Rogue La Sombra, them running around this town um, is not helping the hunter situation, which is the next item on our list. Please keep activities to a minimum. Do not do anything too egregious or uh, bringing attention to our kind. Um, we are still li lying though, low, and... Um, Sheriff uh, Damien is coordinating strikes against known hunter uh, safe houses and locations. Stay away from that airbase, though. It is too much for us at this moment. We've lost many good Fair people enough. even just scouting it out. They are well armed and aware. We need to wait for things to cool down. Got to find a plan. Currently, I am discussing with the Primogen uh, that uh, of a plan. However, of course, we cannot disclose it as of yet. So it is finalized and ready for execution. So now to um, the last major detail. It turns turns out that uh, werewolf activity has been increasing. Oh, great! So just anything that bad can happen is happening. You could put it that way. Hey. Now, everybody, please calm down. We do not know that they're breaking into our territories as of yet. We do know that there's been some skirmishes. Uh, please avoid heavily wooded areas around the city. For the moment, if you can. If you have any reports of rural activity, again, form my subordinates. Now let's go to uh, lesser details tonight. Here off. Uh, I'll let you take over for this. Thank you, Prince Jackson. Um, so, uh, this uh, coterie over here, uh, Leia was her name, right? Yes. Leia Waves. Hi. So, Please, tell the prince uh, who Leia is, and uh, anything you know about her. Dr. Moray seems to know about her. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even deserve the whole finger. <laughs> Uh, well, I think she can speak for herself. She's pretty open to this idea of joining and acknowledging the prince as the, uh, the prince. Uh, so maybe she should explain herself and uh, show that she has nothing to hide. And then I'm going to go back um, to <laughs> Okay, I guess uh, I'm your lordly ship. My name is um, uh, Leia. Um... And I, we cut it there. It 
we, there will be a testimony and a judgment next time. Oh boy! Ooh, but, cliffhanger. Yeah, cliffhanger. Nice cliffhanger. Um, d d anyway, thank you for joining us uh, at Blood City. Uh, this uh, included Chicago by Night and um, Alt of the Blood Gods material. Please look into those materials, and uh, I recommend buying them. They're great. Um, Got less anyway. than a week on the Cult of the Blood Gods Kickstarter. Yep, it's getting down there. Um.